Tyler Sodstrom of the Oakland Athletics is giving Athletics fans hope in a season where they really need it. He's got power. He's got contact. He's close to the major leagues and could be one of the top bat first catchers of the future. Hey everybody, we're back here. Baseball America Prospect Live brought to you, the Louisville Slugger Prospect Pet Live brought to you by Baseball America. And we are joined by Tyler Soderstrom. Tyler. What up guys? Good to see you. You too. Thank, thanks, to, thanks for joining us. Yeah, man. Congratulations on returning yeah. to the future scene. It's a pretty cool experience, man. Uh, glad to be back and uh, it's going to be a fun day tomorrow for sure. Is it different the second time? Is it easier? Is it different? Like, there's a, you know, like. Um, I would say it's different. I mean, the first time I was here, just got drafted. Uh, probably one of the younger guys here. Uh, so. Now you're a grizzled veteran. You I know? guess, yeah, I guess I'm a vet. Still only 21, but uh, it's definitely uh, cool and be a good uh, experience for sure. Tyler, last year when you were here, you were still at Low A Stockton. You got promoted to the high end Midwest at the end of the year. Now you're in AAA, obviously a completely different player than you were. How would you say your game has changed from this point last year to this year? Yeah, I mean, obviously uh, just getting those reps every day, uh, just playing every day, being around the guys, getting more comfortable with the organization, uh, making new friends, and building friendships for sure. Uh, but yeah, I mean, obviously just the reps you go through at that when you get through double A and triple A, you know, just kind of get a little more polished and uh, keep getting better every day. We have a reader question, by the way, that someone wanted directly to ask to you. And I'm guessing it's a question you've probably heard before, but when we get this, I'm gonna ask it. And we have it coming up. It's live TV, as we said, throughout the day. So I'm going to keep talking about this because here it goes. Okay, so Bobby from Flushing, New York asks, is your preference to stay at catcher? Are you open to first base outfield? I like how you said that. Are you yeah. open to it? I mean, obviously, I get asked that a lot. Um, I do want to catch. Uh, I mean, I'm, I want to catch, but I'm open to playing other positions if that's needed. Um, but like, days draft me as a catcher. I've been developing as a catcher. I've been getting a lot better. Uh, I would say I'm probably having one of my better years this year. Uh, just all around uh, at catcher. I mean, I've been playing good, solidly defensively, and so uh, just want to keep going with that. Uh, but you know, if the A's would like me to go play some first every once in a while. It's a possibility. I feel comfortable over there as well. So it's uh, it's been fun and I'm pretty versatile. Yeah, you were drafted really known as a really, really advanced hitter. You continue to prove that up through the minors, but your catching was at times a bit of a question. How's it going to develop moving forward? How would you say you have grown as a defender behind the plate? Yeah, I mean, I think you just get better. Um, it's all about development, right? So you play. We're playing every day, um, so I'm back there a lot, getting the reps. And I think that's the biggest thing is kind of being able to be back there and have the game speed up on you at times and kind of learn. Um, so I think I've gone through that, and I think uh, now I'm kind of headed in the right direction, and I feel like I, I could go catch in the big leagues right now. So I want to go back to your childhood. Your dad, Steve, was a first-round pick of the Giants, pitched briefly in the major leagues. Growing up, was he thrown to you? Were you his catcher? How did that kind of relationship blossom and, and make you the player you are today? Yeah, I mean, obviously, my dad has a big influence on me. Uh, I can only remember growing up, you know, me and my brother, uh, always working with my dad. Uh, he was always there for me, uh, whether it was batting practice, ground balls. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, me and my brother grew up with him, and. He's always been there for me. Did he ever try to make you a pitcher? Uh, no, I think he's actually always been against me being a pitcher. <laughs> uh, so he's always kind of wanted me to do something else um, than be a pitcher. So he's always kind of steered me in that direction. So what are you most looking forward to about this weekend? Yeah, you know, just being around uh, all the really talented players. Uh, I mean, I know some of them, so it'll be good to see them again and kind of catch up. But yeah, I mean, just learn from, take the little things from here and there from guys that you maybe uh, don't do and uh, just be a fun weekend overall. Is well, there anyone here that you have heard about but haven't met and you're excited to meet and see play for the first time? Uh, I mean, I won't want to single anyone out. I feel like everyone as a whole is really talented. Uh, so it's just going to be uh, good to kind of go out and see those guys who haven't played and uh, see what they're all about. 
Well, we're looking forward to seeing what you can do again yeah. back in the Futures game tomorrow. Yeah. So good luck tomorrow, Tyler. Thank you. Thank you for Appreciate coming it. by. Thanks, Thanks for having me on. Us, Tyler. Yep. So we'll be right back with, I think we have more players stacked up. So we're going to keep rolling on with player interviews right after this break. Thanks again. Appreciate it.